Okay, so today we had a request for a pirate, and uh, I'll do Mr. Darby, the pirate Darby. So get your pencils, get your erasers, get your papers, and um, a Sharpie if you want to outline with Sharpie. Kind of makes it look like your own coloring book page when you're done. It makes it easier to stay in the lines when you color. I like that. So grab your things and let's get started. Okay. Today start our pirate. We're going to start a little above the middle of the paper. This is the middle of the paper right here. We'll start a little bit above it. We're going to make a rainbow for the top of my head. It's pirate Darby, right? <laughs> for the beard, we're going to make a cloud kind of line that comes down and across. It's almost like Santa Claus. And then back here behind it, we're going to come around. And you can change the shape of the beard however you want to because each different shape will look like a different pirate. Maybe you want it to be pointy. That'd be fine. Just try and use a cloud shape. It'll make it easy on you. I'm going to be yelling uh, arg or something. So let's put a mouth right here in the beard. I put it off this side. I find that to be funnier over there. I'm yelling out of the corner of my mouth. Okay. Put a uh, tongue in there too if you want to. And for the top of the head, let's make a bandana coming across. You could put polka dots and stripes, little other designs. I'll go ahead and put a polka dots in here. And put a C shape right here on the side. This will be the knot for the side of the bandana. And a leaf shape. And another leaf shape. Almost like a football shape, right? A rainbow, a rainbow, and then a U together. Looks good. Needs a nose. Let's make my nose as pointy. So let's make my nose pointy. And an eyeball. When I do the eyeball, I will color it in and I'll just leave a little bit of it white inside there. You can give it um, angry eyes by putting a mean eyebrow, but we're gonna put a patch over here on the right side so I'm going to leave the eye roll off. Otherwise, the, the line that holds my patch on will cover it up. And it will be too, too detailed. It will get messy. So here's my patch. Straight across. U-shape. Now, here's what I was talking about. That's the line. So you can imagine putting an eyebrow in there to make it difficult to fit. And then this one goes off this side. Cool. Next step here, I'm going to slide the paper up. Uh, what I'd like to do is make a body and you can do that with a rectangle pretty easily so let's go ahead and put a rectangle in there let's give this shirt some stripes I turn my paper to the side uh, turn your paper to the side makes it easy put two stripes up before I forget I'm gonna make this kind of like a tank top uh, muscle shirt so bring this down and back up and I'll put another line here and here the bottom line will turn into a belt. So let's go ahead and add a line. Split that up into three parts that are pretty equal. In the middle here, we can make a rectangle shape. To make it look like the middle of the belt. Let's go ahead and do the legs. And we'll get the length of the legs that will help us make sure that we make our arms the right size. So for the leg, I want to make it look like this leg is standing up on, on like a rock. I'm just going to come out and it's diagonal up just a little bit. Here's my knee and then it's going to come down. I want to make sure these are similar in size. It's almost like a number seven. Then I want to figure out the thickness of the leg and I want to draw a line that follows that leg, comes down and stops in the middle of the body right underneath the belt. We can add this part of the leg to come down and we'll put a cuff on his pant leg by adding a rectangle. There it is. For this leg, I'm going to bring this in about the same distance as I took this leg out. And then from here, I'm going to bring this down, make it get skinnier at the bottom so it starts to match the size of that leg. We'll make a rectangle here on the bottom because I have a peg leg. All right. That is nice. Let's add a pocket. And then the seam of the pants come down here like this. 
from here, I can add a skinny peg leg. I can change it up, make it however you want. I think this is funny. And then the shoe. And the shoe is kind of a rainbow. It comes up. So I guess it's probably a boot since it's a pirate. And down. And it comes across. It's a little bit of a curved line. You'll see. And then there's the sole of the shoe. Like this. Two lines that go diagonal. And there. So it's kind of pointing toward us. Okay. Let's go ahead and add those arms. I'm going to make them yelling. So let's make two diagonal lines coming up out of the beard. One going straight up in the air. Straight up in the air. And then we have a wrist. All right, the next thing I want to do for my pirate, pirate Darby, is make a hand. And a really easy way to make a hand is do a thumb out of a number nine, like this. And we'll make just a circle come around it and connect to the wrist. Let's put a dagger in his hand, since he's a pirate after all. Go ahead and make a rectangle shape here. And you're not going to see the left side of the rectangle because it's hiding. And then there's kind of a, a square shape here. That would be the bottom. And um, a dagger could be short. We could make a sword. I guess we'll make a sword. It might be more interesting. So bring it down. Make your sword. Just an arch. An arch. And then this can come down here. And then up and connect. You can put a line down the middle of the sword here just for an extra detail. All right, he's missing an arm. So let's go ahead and make his arm. We'll put a hook on the end of his arm. And um, that arm will also come out of the beard and here. And it's a little shorter coming out of the beard on this side. We can make it also come up. And this is also shorter because we're putting a hook on it. So we want to put a rectangle on the end of this arm. And then we want to put a rainbow on it like this. And then we want to make it like a question mark that's backwards. So it comes out and up and over and then back in and down and follow it around. Very good. Let's go ahead and make a rock so he can be standing on a rock with his foot since his knee is bent. It's kind of like a squished rainbow shape. There, like that. And then we can kind of put a flat bottom on it. Don't make it too perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. Good. So we got a rock. Let's make another little rock underneath it. It's a little smaller, just so it looks like it makes sense. Behind the pirate, we're going to put a treasure chest. So I'm going to put a line back here. And it's just a, uh, it's like a rectangle that just kind of goes out at the edges. Let's go ahead and connect the top of that. All the way over here. And then we're going to put lines down the side to make our detail on our treasure chest. In the middle, we're going to put a circle or an oval and a little key shape here. And then we'll put our coins, kind of like a cloud shape again, going up and down all the way across. You can even put them inside here, so that'd be nice. And then you can kind of make them look like they're glowing, which is pretty easy to do. I kind of do the same lines for a sun if I have a sun glowing. We'll do that later. There's our glowing chest. Let's make it look like he's standing in the sand. On so this is the edge of the sand right here, and it just looks like the water maybe is washing up on the beach. So we'll put a couple little lines here like this. All right. So for our pirate, we're going to give him some water back here. I don't touch the edges of the paper all the time just to make it a little easier to see. We could put some, um, let's put some sharks in the water. 
so that it looks a little more scary. Not really. Alright, so the sharks come up and over. And remember, if you're falling behind and you can't keep up, uh, don't be afraid to pause the video. Back here at the top, we want to put a rainbow shape. This will be an island. Let's put some grass at the top of the island and give it a palm tree. The palm tree can get real skinny and touch up here at the top. And then the leaves on a palm tree are kind of like the Lorax's beard. They're rounded on one side and then they're zigzagged on the other. So let's do the same thing a couple times. There. Put some coconuts on there if you want. And then up in this top corner, we can make a sun. Just like that. And then as I was saying earlier, for the sun's rays, I like to kind of make it look like the water lines or even um, like the gold that's glowing. So there's our picture. There you have it. Pirate Darby. So once you have it drawn, go ahead and trace it with Sharpie and then we can get started coloring it. I've been talking to my kids lately about using pencils that aren't brand new and we've had trouble with uh, using up older pencils so it's kind of a challenge to them that they could use older pencils. They don't need brand new tools to make the best project ever. No. Darby. Thanks for drawing along today. I hope you enjoyed drawing with me, a little pirate project. And um, post your projects up so I can see them. I want to check them out. I'm proud of you. I hope you had fun because if you're not having fun, uh, there's no reason to be putting in effort doing things like this. But have a good day, guys, and stay safe. I'll see you soon.